Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Evaluate square root of 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now, first thing to do to answer this question is to let x be equal to this expression. So we have x equals square root of 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Now let's square on both sides. This will give us x squared equals 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Now what we're going to do is to multiply the right hand side by 2 over 2. Now take note that 2 over 2 is just 1. Now let's multiply 2 over 2 times 2. This will give us 4 over 2. Now let's separate 4 over 2 into 4 times 1 half. Now at this point, let's use some properties of radicals. Now if we have x, it is equivalent to square root of x squared. Now provided that x is greater than or equal to 0. Using this property, therefore, this 1 half can be written as square root of 1 fourth because 1 half squared is just 1 fourth. Now, let's use some laws of radicals. If we have square root of a times square root of b, we have the same index. That is equivalent to square root of a times b. Therefore, we can multiply 1 and 4 times square root of a times square root of 16 and so on and so forth. If we do that, we get x squared equals 4 times square root of 4 over 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Now let's focus on this 4 over 4. The 4 in the denominator can be written as 2 times 2. We know that 2 times 2 is just 4. And then 4 over 2 times 2 can be written as 4 over 2 times 1 half. Now 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So we have 2 times 1 half. Now at this point, we will do the same thing. We know that 1 half is equivalent to square root of 1 fourth. And then we need to multiply 1 fourth to 8 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Thus, this will give us square root of 8 over 4 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Now, 8 over 4 can be written as 8 over 2 times 1 half and 8 over 2 is just 4. So we have 4 times 1 half. Again, we will do the same thing. So 1 half is equivalent to square root of 1 fourth. Then we need to multiply 1 fourth to 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Thus, this will give us 8 times 1 half and then do the same thing. We have 16 times 1 half and do the same thing until we reach the end. Thus, this will give us x squared equals 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 and so on and so forth. But take note that we let x equal square root of 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 and so on and so forth. Therefore, this expression on the right hand side is just x. So we have x squared equals 4 times x. Now we know that x is not equal to 0, so we can divide both sides by x. So we can cancel out 1x on the left-hand side and 1x on the right-hand side. Therefore, x equals 4. Now we know from the start that we let x equals square root of 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16 times square root of 32 and so on and so forth. Therefore, this expression is equivalent to 4. And as always, we are done.